My name is John Kinney, and for my full-time civilian employment, I'm a financial analyst. But on the weekends, when I put on the uniform, I get to fly one of these guys. The max speed of this aircraft is 170 knots, or about 200 miles per hour. In my civilian life, I'm a full-time college student. When I report for duty, I drive one of those. I am Rachel Ntabo, a 92 Alpha, that's Automated Logistics Supply Specialist in the Iowa Army National Guard. I am Specialist Ron Dell, and I am a Ranger Qualified Infantryman. I carry an M4 with a 320 on it. It's a grenade launcher. <laughs> My life as a child was very, very interesting. I'd like to think I was a good kid. Maybe the teachers thought I was a little too much to handle. I was 12 years old and in Mexican Plaza, the restaurant in Mesa City, I told my parents, I said, I want to join. And they thought it was just, you know, a bump in the road. They were like, no, we, we don't see you doing that. I learned and knew about the National Guard my whole life because I grew up just three miles from this facility seeing aircraft fly over. I think just staring up there and kind of starting to dream and think a bit about what I wanted to do. As I grew up and got a little older, it just never happened. I ended up graduating and going to college. I never even applied. I graduated high school in my country, in Kenya, before I got my green card to travel. And I went to Iowa State because my focus was I want the degree. And because engineering the, was expensive for me, I said maybe if I start doing nursing, and then I get money, I can pay for my engineering degree. After high school, I went to the University of Iowa and I studied finance and I minored in Spanish. Seven years passed before I ended up actually enlisting after high school. I sat down with Staff Sergeant Matt Kent and started asking him questions about the National Guard and kind of picking his brain. And they told me they kind of give you benefits for school and it, you know, I was like, stop there. What benefits again? The Guard is covering all of my college, every single part of it. I will come out of college with a full degree, debt free. And that's how exactly I went back to engineering in 2018. Then I went to boot camp. Shipped out for boot camp. It was 11 weeks. It was pretty intense. Um, it was kind of a bit of a culture shock. But I was a little bit older. I could just listen and follow direction pretty well. And that's really all they're asking of you in boot camp. They're trying to teach you how to be a soldier and follow direction and understand that there's people in charge of you and you might be in charge of people also. The common misconception that when you join the Army, you are going out and fighting on the battlefield when there are a lot of other jobs that don't require that. The recruiter here in Des Moines, in Iowa, told me, you know, you have a lot of options. And I was like, I think I would love to do logistics supply because then it's more of something I can use even in the civilian world. And that's how I ended up being a logistics supply specialist. My recruiter actually told me that you don't want to do the same thing 24-7. You kind of want to mix it up a little bit. So why not just do something you know, crazy and do something way different than what you're used to. Get away from, you know, reality sometimes from your civilian side of work. Joining the Iowa Army National Guard was a good decision for me because it allows me to still be a financial analyst during the week full time, but it also allows me to serve the state of Iowa and this country as a soldier and a pilot. So the Iowa Army National Guard is essentially a part-time soldier. At its lowest level, it's one weekend a month and it's two weeks a year commitment. And I can balance it really easily with my time as being a full-time student while also being a guardsman. The military does not stop you from having fun, does not stop you from enjoying life to the fullest. When I'm in uniform and I'm with my fellow soldiers, I, it doesn't matter who is coming from where. It's just like a little fun. You get called up to do missions, you may not know someone, you know, before, you go on mission for three weeks and you guys are family. You get close real fast. One of the coolest things I've done in the Iowa Army National Guard is finishing the CH-47 Foxtrot Chinook course and probably the SEER training. That's survival, evasion, resistance, and escape. The coolest thing that I've done in the Guard is, well, graduate Ranger School. My favorite thing about my soldier life is what I get back from others. Just walking outside, doing something simple, like in uniform while on duty, and you get a thank you and a smile and a handshake. 
It 100% makes you love what you're doing. I love that the army has a little bit of craziness that I would never have in my civilian life and a little bit of good discipline. So it's a good balance. I love that. I would recommend joining the Iowa Army National Guard because of the experiences that you'll obtain, the people you meet, and the benefits that you get from joining. I think everything about being a soldier helps in the civilian sector, and that's PTing and your fitness, setting goals, you know, being disciplined with your tasks day to day. Those are all huge things that civilian employers look for and that help you in the civilian sector. So as a financial analyst, those help me every day. When I went in, I was like, I just want to finish my contract and you know, get the benefits and just out I'm gone. But here I am today, I want to be here. I want to do more. I want to grow myself more. My goal as a soldier is to inspire more people, to be a good reflection of what being a soldier is. Encourage somebody to come and serve. Change somebody's perspective about being a soldier. Do something that a young version of yourself would be proud of and would look up to. Come join the Army.